Hello, welcome to Miracles in My Life. Do you believe in miracles? Many of us don't really believe in miracles until it happened to us. Something extraordinary, something that we think is impossible. Well, here is a story that happened in our home. Something that you can consider as impossible. This story will be told to you by my wife, Carmita. And I was, actually when I was counting it, I was shaking. Where, where did this come from? And I didn't see that the day before. And, but they were old, 100 peso bills. And I remember sitting there on, on my bed for a while just thinking what happened and I couldn't maybe I was seated there for about five minutes just trying to understand what, what transpired at that moment because that I don't put money there first of all it's unlocked I have my money in my in my desk which is locked and after a while I said I think I have to talk to someone. I have to tell my husband. I have to show, is this really what's happening to me? So I got the money, the envelope, and I went down to the den where my husband was. Uh, I decided one day uh, to, to cook um, a certain dish. And I didn't know it by memory. So I have these folders. Um, in the drawer uh, in my cabinet in my bedroom so uh, I had several folders there and one of which was the folder that contained the recipes so uh, I, I put the drawer and I it was the second folder uh, uh, in the drawer and I opened the folder and I um, I was looking through it already through the, the recipes one by one when I had uh, when I was called to go downstairs because I had to attend to something so I put back the folder uh, back in the drawer still put it there because I always want it to be in order so I don't get confused um, I'm a very organized person so uh, I know exactly what was I know exactly what are inside my drawers so when I put back the folder which contained the recipes I put it in uh, under the first one because it's supposed to be in the second uh, slot so I put the folder and then I put the folder on top back and I went down to check what was happening downstairs I wasn't able to go back anymore upstairs in my bedroom to look for the recipe because uh, I had to attend to something. The, the reason why I was called was to attend to something. So the next day, I remembered I had to look for the recipe. So I went upstairs again uh, after breakfast. I opened the drawer. I got the second folder. And in the process of getting the second folder, I, I removed the first folder and I was about to get the second folder. And on top of the second folder, the folder that contained the recipes, I saw a brown envelope. And I was wondering what it was. It was bulging. And I didn't see it the day before. So I opened the envelope and I saw there was a bundle of 100 peso bills and uh, I started to count it and it reached about it totaled a, a little over 73,000 pesos yes um, I have the envelope where um, which contained the money which I found I still have it. It's here. This one. 
it's a regular collection envelope and this was the the paper uh, which held the, the bundle with it and I keep it to remind me of God's goodness and grace and I told my husband look what I have here and I found this in my drawer it's inside this envelope I described to him what happened and my husband kept quiet too for a while but I guess not as long as I kept quiet upstairs in my bedroom and then I, I knew he was he prayed he closed his eyes and then he said quietly he said look definitely there is a reason why that money is in our drawer in our bedroom so don't touch it just hold on to it put it back in the envelope so um i followed what my husband said i just kept the money in the in, in my desk after a few days there was a big very big expense that came we had no idea it was coming and what to make a long story short the money that we spent that we needed to spend about two or three days after i found the money uh, more or less was the amount i found maybe a, um, a few pesos off so I was thinking that God knows, it made me realize that God knows all our needs. And he, of course, he knows what we need in the future. I may not know, but he knew what we were going to need. And he already prepared it for us, for my husband and myself. I can say that uh, we were living comfortably. We definitely were not living comfortably at the time. Um, it, money was pretty tight during those days. We just had enough uh, to meet our expenses at that point in time. And uh, the, it was not something like I had a big bank account somewhere where I could just get money whenever I, um, we would want to splurge on some luxury. No, it wasn't like that at all. In the beginning, uh, I didn't feel like sharing my story because uh, I was thinking, who'd believe me? Who would believe me? A friend of mine who writes uh, books and shares stories about miracles happening to other people encouraged me to, and said Carmita um, write your story help people establish their faith have more faith that God really performs miracles and so I shared my story I wrote it and it's published in her book I believe, I believe in miracles. Yes, it happened to us. And it's happening to so many people. Kaya lang hindi natin alam. Wouldn't it be nice if we knew about it? So for those who have experienced miracles in their lives, please share it with us. Now, for next week, we will have another story of a then aspiring teacher. What happened to her bewildered her. Next week, po, Sunday, 9 p.m. I hope to see you there. Bye.